Okay, we've hit the halfway mark on Dell's Ducks training camp. We're halfway through the second week. We're about halfway between the start of training camp and first league contest. Uh, we got the coaches here again today. Uh, assistant coach Mario LaChica on the left and head coach Sean Falzone on the right. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tough one right off the bat here, I guess. If this was a midterm, uh, what kind of a grade would you give your team right now as far as preparation for the season goes? I'll ask you both. I'd say of teams probably about a C at the moment. Okay. Just because their conditioning could be better than it is. Okay. So C is a passing grade, but nothing nothing special. Correct. I prefer them to be in the B, A, B a <laughs> range right about now, but it's okay. They're working hard though, so I'm not too bad about it. not too mad about it. Okay, Coach Achika. I'm a little nicer. I would have said a B minus, but uh, I agree with the points that Coach Falzone brought up. You know, we, we conditioning wise, we need to get there, and uh, just chemistry wise as well. Okay, so today was the first of your two a days, uh, as far as the on ice uh, sessions go. Would you say, Coach, that it's been the, that was the toughest physical day so far? Or have others been tougher? No, this one was a light one again today until the ice gets a little bit more solid. Um, we worked on, we did a normal practice with just flow drills and then worked on some simple skills like uh, longer strides and, and better uh, movements and, and transitions and that kind of stuff. And just basic stuff, shooting, just to get the guys under, get their, get their shots back, get their legs back, get them back to where they should be. So it's okay. been a light day today. Okay. And Coach Achika, I talked to uh, Jaden Mammon earlier. He said the first session was sort of like a game situation type thing. The second one was, was mostly skating and just drills. Does that sound right? Yeah, the, the first practice was more team oriented where we were running kind of the flow drills that Coach was talking about. And then the second one was more focusing on the individual development. So yeah, I, I would agree with that statement. Okay, and how do the players react to, to the, I, I mean, are they eager to kind of soak up as much as they can when they're up there? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, they're, 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 try, they're trying their hearts out. I mean, a lot of them have to get their legs back under them. And, okay. Uh, after practice, I, I, I had a couple guys pull me aside and ask to work on some things with them. So, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was there with them. I think it was a little different for them because they've never had individual training. So the second part of our our second practice is always a skill session. So it's either like edge work or stick candling or shooting. So I, I surprised a few of them that we actually do something where they're we're working on individual portions of the players to increase their mobility, increase their skating, make them better hockey players. And the first practice is always team oriented. We're always running things that's based on getting ready for the season, getting ready for our game, whatever's coming up next, right? So that's how we split those days up. Okay. So you talked about, you know, where the players are at, game the grade. Uh, what about the effort? Are you, like, do you, do you feel like they're fully invested at this point? Oh yeah, there's no question. I think we're players for, if I was giving grades on that, we'd be at all A's in that area. Even okay. the uh, younger players that I thought would be a little farther behind uh, are, given everything they got and, and even if I have to go by skill level our lower skill level players are actually pushing themselves to a new level that they haven't been to yet which is good to see okay um, so coach Achika, if we, again you know with the younger players um, this is probably the first season for some of them where they've kind of had a 24-hour focus on just hockey I mean they're still doing school work and stuff like that but, uh, you know, they get up in the morning and, and, and think about hockey pretty much all day. Has that been overwhelming for any of them, or have they all kind of adapted to that really well? I think they're soaking it in. I, I honestly think they're loving the, every minute of it. Um, being around this, their, their same group of guys, their billets, you know, they're really coming together. Uh, we got a really competitive bunch, like even just playing cards or whatnot. Yeah. They don't want to lose, so... Um, they're really holding each other accountable and uh it's good to see that because um you know you need that on the ice and like i said they're they're, they're really coming together and yeah i mean they're, they're looking like they're they're gelling a little bit better okay. their chemistry's there we want to get build on that but 
we'll get there. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird sort of dynamic on a team like this where, you know, it's not like being on a school team or something, you know, with the billeting added in, you're with the guy so much. I mean, you're pretty much together almost 24 hours a day, and that, that could take some getting used to, I would expect, Coach. I think a few of them have a little bit of a different change to it, but they all seem to be getting along great. Um, I've, like I said, parents have called me and said their kids are excited and okay. calling them about how they're, um, you know, they're happy that group's coming together a lot faster than they were expecting it to be. And, and they're doing things with the houses and, and getting them with the groups of kids. Like they went out mini golfing and um, still going, like they're already planning on going. Uh, I think RWD has a game this weekend of football. Oh, so yeah, they're right. all going to head to the football game, watch the football game together, you know, and go support a local high school here and, and try to get some more fans and become friends with those people and, and get them out there. And hopefully they get more involved in the community that way. Okay. Well, thanks again for, for this today. Coach, we'll be talking to you again tomorrow again. Uh, but we do appreciate it, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to the first game, so it's getting pretty exciting. Thank you. Thank you.